24 year old Marine veteran Daniel Penny can be seen in this disturbing video restraining 30 year old Jordan Neely, who was homeless in a chokehold for nearly three minutes. Sources tell ABC News Neely was yelling and acting erratically on the subway, but had not become physically violent. Other passengers are also seen holding him down. Neely was later pronounced dead at the hospital. The medical examiner ruled his death a homicide. The individual who did this has to testify at some point uh, to say I was in fear of my life or I, or I just wanted to end this situation as best I could. Those things matter. Those statements from the witnesses are really going to play a big role in this. Attorneys for Mr. Penny releasing a statement Friday night offering his condolences for Mr. Neely and writing, quote, when Mr. Neely began aggressively threatening Daniel Penny and other passengers, Daniel, with the help of others, acted to protect themselves until help arrived. He added Daniel never intended to harm Mr. Neely and could not have foreseen his untimely death. Protesters are now calling for Penny's arrest. Neely had a troubled past, including more than 40 arrests and a history of mental illness, seen here on the subway just days before he died. The incident renewing the debate over mental illness and public safety. This man had a mental issue, and the way you handle that is not to put him in a chokehold and squeeze the life out of him. A source tells ABC News the case will likely go to a grand jury next week in order to determine whether criminal charges are warranted. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, New York. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.